All right, so what's poppin' everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a special video because when it comes to like the topic of this video, I know you guys can tell just by looking at the title, but this is a video that I have been trying to make for a long time and I feel like this one is going to be one of the best videos of my channel specifically because of one thing that I have to show you guys now if you guys have been watching my other videos and if you guys watch my CDG Converse review you guys will know that I said that I was planning on doing some type of custom with this shoe like there was something that I wanted to do with it and that got done you know what I'm saying like I, I took the time out and I customized my own pair of CDG Converse's, but like technically customized them because I did it in sort of like my own way in a sort of like a weird way. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the shoe for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get into how I did it. I'm going to go ahead and get into how you guys can do it if you want to do it. So without further ado, sit back, relax, go to McDonald's and get you a Whopper because we are about to get it popping. Now, as far as the shoes, here we go right here. This is the custom that I did do. Now, I'm not exactly sure if you guys can see like the actual print or like the actual writing all over the shoe, but just know your boy got B-roll for you. So if you guys are missing out on any shots, if you guys are missing out on any of the writing that's going on out here, I will definitely let you guys know and I would definitely hook you up with some dope B-roll. But the main thought behind this shoe is that I kind of wanted it to be spontaneous. I felt like I've never saw anybody write on a Converse CDG. Uh, I've seen people write on Vans, I've seen people write on like Reeboks, but I've never seen anybody write on a pair of CDG Converse's. So I thought, let me wait till like the spontaneous moment happens and I'm just up in the middle of the night and I just decide to start writing on them. And that's pretty much what happened one night. And that actually happened the night before I wore these. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into this shoe first. And the first thing that you see on this shoe, if you guys look at the upper part right here, is that it says, keep your head up and continue marching. Um, now, the meaning behind that is you guys know what I do. You know, I'm a YouTuber. You know, I'm also in school. I'm in college. You feel me? So I'm constantly working 24 seven, trying to make life better for myself and my family. But it's like on the way of that, on the way of you trying to achieve your goals and succeed, you definitely come across a whole lot of obstacles. One of the biggest obstacles is like being lazy. Another one of the big obstacles is procrastination. Another one of the biggest obstacles is also time management. And sometimes things just don't fall into place the way that you want them to. But if you just keep your head up and if you just continue marching, if you just keep it moving 24 seven, then, then, then pretty much you become a goat. You know what I'm saying? You become a goat and nothing can pretty much bother you. Let's just say you're having girl problems. If you just keep your head up and continue you marching none of that will bother you so i kind of just put that on my shoe to like let's just say i'm not feeling as goaty one day which if you a goat you always got to feel 100 percent goat 24 7 these just facts but let's just say i'm not feeling 100 percent goaty one day i could just look at the shoe and be like all right keep my head up continue marching i already know what's going to happen i already know the i already know all my youtube channels are about to blow up you feel me i already know that the grind doesn't stop i already know that i'm gonna be whipping the tesla x in la these are just facts you got to speak things into existence and that's pretty much why I put this on this shoe now the next thing that you see on this shoe that I put right here is the word Nashi now Nashi if you guys don't know the name is Chris Takanashi so I just took Nashi off of Takanashi and put it off of that that's kind of like the nickname that people call me they call me Nashi so I think I think that that's pretty cool um now on this side right here you guys probably can't see that but I do got you with b-roll if you guys look right here it says always be a goat now, I decided to put always be a goat on this shoe because there was no way I could have a custom where I was riding on any kind of shoe and I just didn't put be a goat on the shoe. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that would have been a waste of opportunity. So what I decided to do is I decided to put always be a goat right there. And I just think that that looks dope. Uh, you gotta always be a goat, man. If you guys don't know what being a goat is, a lot of people think that being a goat is just being the greatest of all time and then you're done. So a lot of people might, might tell you, you can't be a goat. There's only one greatest of all times. Those people are wrong. Everybody can be a goat. You got to be the greatest version of yourself. This is what a goat does. A goat always keeps moving. A goat always stays working. A goat never lets anything bother them. If you let things bother you too much, you're not a goat. You have to work on yourself to be a goat. You have to be supremely confident and be able to do anything at all times. Look, dude, if you ever doubt yourself, you're not a goat. You need to work on that. 
Facts. You have, you have to work on that. In order to be a GOAT, you have to have supreme confidence. You have to go out there. You have to get it. This is just the facts when it comes to being a GOAT. You can't just wake up and be like, I'm a GOAT. Yeah, you could wake up and say you're a GOAT, but you got to put in work to be a GOAT. These are just facts. And when it comes to me putting that on this shoe right there, I feel like I'm a GOAT. Am I 100% a GOAT? I'm not a 100% GOAT yet. I'm not all the way there yet. Um, I will be there soon. Uh, I will let you guys know when I get there, but I'm not there yet. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it to this shoe right here. Now this shoe, in my opinion, is my favorite shoe, uh, just because it kind of has a lot more character on it. Now if you guys look at it, it says Nashi in blue right there. And I just think that the way that I put Nashi on the side of the shoe definitely looks really cool. I just think that the font of it is dope. I like how I have the eye and then the eye goes down into like this arrow. I think that that's super cool. Now one thing that I did put on the upper just like I did with this one is I put what do you want? So I pretty much sat down and I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a real motivational person. You can ask any of my friends. If I if I see you being lazy, I'm going to hit you up and be like, dog, what are you doing? We, we got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be in L.A. by myself. You know what I mean? I don't want to drive a Tesla by myself. You know, I need to have friends to, to chill and do it with me. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to putting stuff on the side of this shoe, I just put what I want. I want success. I want happiness. I want my goals, you know what I mean? Like I need to achieve my goals. That is a need of mine. That is always on my mind 24 seven. I wake up and I think about it. I go to sleep and I think about it. I play basketball and I think about it. I never get an escape. Some people might say that that's, that, that's bad, but I don't know, I just, I never get an escape. So I wanted to make sure that I put that right there to further even more remind myself that that's what I needed to do. And if you guys look on this side right here, you guys will see like, you know, you guys know what like a, a reticle is? You guys ever play Call of Duty? So if you play Call of Duty, and you like shoot with like a certain gun, you get like the little the little crosshairs right there. So I put that on the upper of that right there because I thought that that was cool. And it brings it down to this part right here, which is shooters shoot. Now, if you guys don't know, you guys probably see this on Twitter a lot, but shooter shoot is my little motto. I have like two different models. I have like three different models. I have minor setback for a major comeback. I have always be a goat, be a goat. And then I have a uh, shooter shoot. Now when it comes to shooter shoot, I mean, let, let, let's go and keep it real, dog. I'm a shooter. Not like I'm shooting like none of that. I'm not shooting no firearms or nothing, but I'm a shooter. Feel what I'm saying? If I play basketball, I'm draining threes in your face in real life. If I'm playing 2K, my 2K playmaker is a playmaking sharpshooter. That means what? I'm making threes in your face, so I'm a shooter. If you take it into real life, I'm a shooter. I drop vids like this. I throw them bad boys at you. I throw alley-oop passes. You guys just gotta catch them. I'm throwing them. I'm a shooter. Shooter, shoot. Always shoot. No matter what it is, you always go for it. No matter what risk is involved, you always go for it. That's why it says shooter, shoot on the shoe right here. So pretty much, go ahead and think about it this way. If you're ever doubting yourself in any way, this is all you gotta do, and then you'll like be able to do it immediately. You just sit back and you go. Shoot or shoot, I gotta do what I gotta do. Shoot or shoot, this is what you gotta do. You just gotta do what you gotta do. And then you'll be able to do some cool things. I don't know, man. I just thought that it was something dope to put on these shoes. I mean, will I be adding some more things on this shoe? Probably. Um, this is going to be more of like a spontaneous project. I'm not just going to go ahead and map out what I want to put on the shoe. I just want it to come to me. And the more I want to put on the shoe, I'll put on the shoe in that way. But when it comes to this shoe right here, how do you guys think I did on a custom? Do you guys think I did dope? Do you guys think I could have did better? Do you think it was trash? Do you guys think that I should put some more on it? If you guys want me to put more on it, what do you guys think I should put? I would like to see you guys' opinions on that. But as you guys already know, I am posting videos like crazy i'm posting videos like wildfire i might have taken a little bit of a break but bro don't worry in that time i was definitely like creating videos and getting work done because i'm a goat and that's what we got to do Whew, man feels good to be back on this channel man thank you guys for watching as always without further ado i would definitely be back soon so all i gotta say is hey blessings 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 and uh chris